Yes, sir. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Something's going on here. We are told many, many things in this life. They tell me that 13 billion years ago, all of the everything we know was packed together in a space smaller than that of an atom. And then... No one really knows. Some say bang. Some say God. A lot of people say a lot of things, but one thing's for sure. All of a sudden there was a lot of everything. They tell me that within this universe I am living in a place called a galaxy. They tell me it is but one galaxy of billions of galaxies. These galaxies contain anywhere from 100,000 to 3 trillion stars. I am dancing, dreaming, swimming in light. I can close my eyes and see them all. I can taste them. I pound stardust into the keys of this typewriter. I am rising. They tell me I... You, we, all of us, live in a place called the solar system. In this so-called solar system, there are supposedly nine planets which orbit the king of our aptly named solar system. They say the Romans called the sun Sol. But then they tell me that the sun isn't really a sun, it's a star. And not such an impressive star. In fact, just one of billions swimming in the greater ocean that they call the Milky Way galaxy. It's just the closest. How big are the stars? Well, this one, this sun of ours, makes up 99.8% of the mass of our solar system. Or so they tell us. They tell me I live on the third planet from the sun. They tell me the Earth is 4.6 billion years old. That 71% of the Earth is covered with water. I'm drowning. The planet Jupiter is the thing. It is 1,318 times as large as the planet Earth. Its mass is greater than the mass of all the other planets combined. Jupiter is impressive, but not quite as impressive as the fact that the sun of our solar system is a thousand times as large as Jupiter, which is peanuts to the fact that somewhere out there in the wild black yonder rage violent black holes churning at a million miles an hour, collapsing everything in upon themselves like a kind of weird vacuum, which are a billion times the size of our sun. <laughs> oh man, there's something going on that nobody is telling us. We've been deceived all our lives, each and every one of us. Well, fuck it. I'm gonna figure it out. Nothing else to do. The cell is so small. I think it's getting smaller. Every day. I can feel it shrinking at night. Darkness comes and floods the whole room. You can't escape it, and it sort of strangles you, keeps you from sleep, and suffocates you when you do. The darkness sneaks in through your ears and plays wild midnight movies on your brain. Dreams. You can't quite tell the difference anymore. At least you get to leave this place for a while. I just wish I had more control over who I killed or fucked. But then again, choice is kind of a thing of the past. Not that I ever had it in the past. I never seemed to have. <laughs> you see, it's sentences like that that keep me alive, surrounded by this slow death. Sentences. <laughs> now that's funny. It would seem that I've been sentenced to write sentences. Sentence after sentence after sentence. I keep going and going, never looking back at what I've laid down before me, because what's past is past. There's no change in it. The funny thing is, that's all you've got in here. Past. So I don't change a thing. 
wonder if the judge, God rest his soul, knew what sort of monster he was unleashing upon the literary world when he sent me up the river. Better than the monster that was out there, I guess. And where in the hell was the river, man? I don't remember any river. Of course, I was physically and emotionally exhausted. Lupe Sanchez was cursing the bitch up and down. I had one eye swollen shut and I was looking through a steel mesh screen. But I don't remember any river. That's okay. I forgot my fishing pole. Up the river. Joseph Conrad. I go there every day. Every night, I should say. So I will. Every night. I make my stay in here a bit more enjoyable or insane, if that's possible, depending on how you look at it, by filling these wicked walls with the waters of my own private Congo. I swim with strange fish, sing with beautiful birds, wrestle with crocodiles by sea and lions by land. But the natives, the natives I do not understand, I go deeper, farther, hoping to find myself. Yeah, I could get into the Congo trip. But not today. Today I have to die.